Good morning. morning. Glad to have you here with us uh, for worship. Glad to have you online worshiping with us as well. I guess uh, everybody got the memo about 945, so good for you. I guess we did an okay job of communicating that. Um, A couple of announcements for uh, this community of faith. Uh, First, prayer concerns. Uh, Continue to keep uh, Tommy Fife in your prayers. Um, He's still in the hospital in the rehab section, um, getting a little stronger. Um, But uh, maybe get home this week. Um, But continue to keep him and uh, his wife, Beth, in your prayers. Um, Also, we're getting a little bit of um, normalcy, I guess, back. Uh, You have attendance slips in your bulletins again. Um, So we're kind of progressing a a bit. Um, You can fill those out. There were pencils in the back. If you brought your own, that's great, too. Um, But uh, you can either just leave those pencils in the pew, or if you take them, there's a box back there that says use pencils, um, and you can put them back there. Um, offering, or not offering, um, the, the attendance slips can go in the offering basket um, on your way out. Um, so just put everything in that big giant basket and that, that will be good for us. Um, also, um, a little bit of normalcy is we're singing a little bit more today. Um, so the opening hymn, All Glory, Laud, and Honor, we'll sing the refrain, the first verse, and then the refrain again. So not a full-blown hymn, but we're getting there slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll keep up through Easter and, and beyond. Um, so um, it's good to have a little bit of that normalcy um, back. Um, this coming Wednesday, uh, Jersey Mike's is donating 100% of all their proceeds to help, um, help for kids, which is a, a benevolence that we work pretty closely with. So if you buy a sandwich, 100% of that money goes to, to help for kids. Um, so there's information in the bulletin about that if you want to go buy a sandwich on Wednesday. Um, Also, there's a new member class coming up in a few weeks, um, if you're interested in joining with us there. Um, And then a Holy Week schedule, um, Maundy Thursday is this Thursday. We'll gather in person and online at 6.30. Um, Good Friday, we'll gather in person and online at 6.30. And then Easter worship um, next week will be the same schedule as this. So 8.30, 9.45, and 11 o'clock. Um, Also, we do have communion today. Hopefully you picked up uh, a communion packet on your way in. Um, Do take your time with those. Sometimes the aluminum foil part can get a little fussy and um, sticky too, you know, so just take your time um, and you'll you'll get there. Um, And then please do take your trash with you. Those are the announcements that I have. Uh, Would you please stand and face the rear of the sanctuary? Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. A reading from Luke. When he had come near Bethpage and Bethany at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Just say this, The Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They said, The Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. And as he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Hosanna, King, blessed are you, our King, who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Even if our voices were silenced, creation itself would rise up to praise you. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from Psalm 118. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches, up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But They did not find anything that they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. (laughs) 
our plans for today are ruined. Usually on Palm Sunday, we start outside, gathered out front, palm strands in our hands. And growing up, that was one of the, the coolest things that I remember about church. It was always a fun day for me. It was, it was church, and it was outside. It was novel and exciting, a, a way to live out the story of Jesus' triumphal entry. But this year, we are all inside with minimal parading around. Some of that is practical. Our, our cameras, for example, for streaming don't catch what we do outside. Plus, with COVID still rearing its head, it's best that we don't mingle too much right now. So the, the usual plans for today, ruined. But I get the sense that not too many here are all that upset about not marching up and down the front lawn. Stoic Lutherans don't really do parades or waving branches or, or anything really that draws too much attention. And in fact, I expect to hear a lot less grumbling after worship because at least you got your regular seat, right? You know, no one else could sneak in front of the parade and beat you to it. <laughs> but even though things aren't going according to plan, at least it's a step up from last year this time. Our plans surely were ruined. We were closed. The doors were locked, and it was just Arthur and me in this big old room. And we tried to, to replicate it as best as we could, what the normal plans were, with me marching my cell phone down that center aisle. But when you're the only one shouting Hosanna, it's not quite the same. Yes, plans certainly were ruined. But really, ruined plans are at the heart of what today is. See, Jesus ruined a lot of plans on this Palm Sunday roughly 2,000 years ago. It seems like everything is set up for him to win, to, to be victorious. The crowds are behind him. He, he has lots of followers. He's done marvelous, miraculous things throughout his ministry. And even in setting up this entrance, by, by all intents and purposes, he is in control. He knows about the cult and what the owners will say. He, he rides in while others wave and shout. He is the king. He's come to claim his rightful place. It's what the crowds and the disciples expect. It's what we expect, that Jesus would win. How could he not? But with Jesus, all those plans are ruined. Once he enters the city, he doesn't do what a king should do. He weeps over Jerusalem. He laments its destruction. And then he goes to the temple, not, not to pray or to offer a sacrifice, but, but to stir the pot and to turn over all the things that people had come to rely on. And that really upset people, leaders and regulars alike. This surely isn't what we would have planned. And today, Jesus ruins our plans. Jesus cancels any celebration that we thought we would be having. But that is what this day is about. Unmet expectations, ruined plans, Hosanna to crucify him, a king who loses. Jesus doesn't avoid death as we would. He doesn't play it cool or send others to do his dirty work. Instead, he goes on. He stays true to who God called him to be. He lives and will die trusting that God will not fail him. The good news today isn't as good as it usually is because 
This good news, God's good news, doesn't go according to our plans. Jesus is not doing what any good king or ruler or savior of a people would do. He's not doing it the way it should be done. He's not doing it the way that we know it should be done. Our plans for a savior don't work out. What we hope for doesn't happen. Today, on Palm Sunday, our plans for glory and honor and hosannas are ruined. This week, we get to hear again the story of our King, our Savior. We will celebrate on Thursday a new commandment, Last Supper, stripping of the altar. On Friday, we will relive the events of Jesus' final day through scripture, song, darkness. And then, and then, despite death's best laid plans, Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. In Jesus, you came among us as a suffering servant. Give your church humility. Redeem your people from pride and the certainty that we always know your will. Heal us and empower us to confess Christ crucified. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. In creation, life springs out from death. Redeem your creation awaiting resurrection. Restore lost habitats and endangered species. Create new possibilities for areas affected by climate change. Grant relief from natural disasters and nurture new growth 
Hear us, O God. Mercy is great. Jesus was handed over to the powers of this world. In all nations, instruct the powerful that they would not exploit their power but maintain justice. Sustain soldiers and guide those who command them that they serve those in greatest need. Hear us, O God. The mercy is great. On the cross, Jesus joined all who feel forsaken. Abide with those who are condemned to death. Defend those who are falsely accused. Console and strengthen those who are mocked or bullied. Accompany all who suffer. Grant respite and renewal. Hear us, O God. The mercy is great. You called followers to tend Jesus' body in death. Sustain hospice workers and funeral directors. Bless this congregation's ministries at times of death. Those who plan and lead funerals, those who prepare meals, all who offer support in grief. Hear us, O God. The mercy is great. You inspired the centurion to confess Jesus as your son. We praise you for the faith you have given to people of all places and times. Give us also such faith to trust the promises of baptism and with them to look for the resurrection of the dead. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Through Christ, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. We do thank you for your financial gifts and other gifts that you give to St. Philip that enable us to be God's hands and feet in Myrtle Beach and beyond.
Let us pray. Holy God, gracious and merciful, you bring forth food from the earth and nourish your whole creation. Turn our hearts toward those who hunger in any way, that all may know your care. And prepare us now to feast on the bread of life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Would you please stand? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, whose suffering and death gave salvation to all. You gather your people around the tree of the cross, transforming death into life. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Blessed are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks, and he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven. be seated. At this time, I invite you to take out your communion packet. This is the body of Christ given for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Amen.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of abundance, with this bread of life and a cup of salvation, you have united us with Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit, that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you.